Industrialism was an evolution, an advancement forwards. An adaptation, I was saying, maybe not, but definitely an evolution forwards to make progress. Link up here. Hello and welcome back to the other video of um, my TV tube this week and well, the second video from my TV tube this week and today I'm going to be talking about something I've talked about this before slightly but I will be technically talking about it again this um, quick disclaimer was my assessment and uh, I just thought you know what let me make this into a video so um yeah, here it is, and um, as you can see by the title, was industrialism possible without the empire? So, what is industrialism? What is the empire? Well, in order for us to answer that, either question, either three questions, which is, was industrialism possible without the empire? What is industrialism and what was the empire? Well, I guess that's what we're going to answer today. So, with all of you said and done, let's get into this video. Industrialism was an evolution, an advancement forwards. An adaptation, I was saying, maybe not, but definitely an evolution forwards to make progress. Link up here. With that being what industrialism is, it's basically... Let me elaborate more on this. So, you might be saying, okay, it's an evolution. It's an evolution in what? Um, who did it? Now, the... <laughs> now mainly the British and um, I think most of you also went through industrialism from basically agriculture, farming, the good old days, you know, you know the good old days of farming, home medicine, bloodletting, and many other more things, to the new and improved machinery. Slavery, okay, that is not improved, that is horrible. Um, machinery, yes, this did happen, this did happen, obviously. Um, machinery, enslavement of other people, and better medicine, and child labor, and oppression of women, and empowerment of pretty much every man. I'm gonna take a break, you know? Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I just talked about basically what it was, but it's way better now, it's way better now. Anyways, um, with that being what industrialism is, it's, like I said before, it's an advancement, a step forward in the right direction, but the wrong path. Let me explain. Obviously, advancement and evolution to an extent is great. Evolving is great. Machinery, yeah, good. Um, I mean, now it's easier for people, not enough people, for jobs to be done. Um, how did the cotton get to the machines, though? Mm, let me think. Enslaved people. That is the wrong way to do the right thing. I'll say, I mean, obviously, bettering yourselves with yourselves you better your I you can better yourself yeah but you don't you know in, in capture st let me put it this way steal and capture kill enslave and use starve deprive depress and oppress other people to evolve yourself it's quite selfish. The selfish is an understatement for that, basically. But all that is past, so we can all live in peace and harmony. This is just basic. This is. I have to. You have to know what industrialism is and was to know if it was possible without the empire. Which I'll be getting to the empire in a little bit. Now, obviously, it's an evolution and advancement forwards for the British. And not just with our machinery, 
but with medicine, medicine was horrible back then. I mean, they they said that if you're ill, you just had bad blood, and then they slit your wrists and let all your blush get, um, just all did I just say all your gush blood let out, all your blood gush out, and um, the person could die from that. Medicine took a step forward in advancement. There was this disease right now I forgot. So it'll be up here. Yes, I can do this in a video, but not in a book. I can't write down. I forgot. But when I remember, I'll tell you. So this is what's better about doing an actual video. Anyways, when I remember, it'll be right here. There was some that was not really curable at all. And it was a big problem, a big deal. Also the hygiene, but I'll get to that. It's basically linked to medicine. Um, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. So that was pretty much incurable. But you know, when industrialism kicked by, all good. Same as hygiene, they used to poop in the streets. Now look at London streets, it's beautiful, you know, obviously. But uh, even hygiene became better. And what else, basically? Um, so let's see. Transport. It used to take, let's say, a week or two to get from England to, I believe, Scotland. I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but for my memory, that's it. But after industrialism, it only took a couple of hours. Yeah, that's what industrialism is, and I will have talked like seven minutes on it. So what about the empire? This is just my definition of what the empire is. <clears throat> I'm going to read it. My note plan book. Okay, so being said, I'm putting the book on the screen so that you know what I'm reading from. I'm reading from my, uh, my, my no, no, a book that I wrote. My notebook. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Anyways, how I define that the empire is a. It can be described. It can be described as a show of force. A power, basically, a way to state and express or exert non-existent dominance. That was basically my definition of what the empire was. So, was industrialism possible without the empire? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Matthew, you describe these two. What's, what can possibly be the link between the two? That is what I'll get you to in the next video. I'll see you then. I'm joking, it's in this video. So, um, yeah, let me just wrap it up since I basically only have a couple more minutes to explain this. So I'm going to speak as quickly as possible. If you cannot understand, there is a way to possibly slow this video down. So please do so. And, uh, yeah, you can actually slow the way I talk down on this little icon at the side on the video. Just, yeah, and I'll be talking a lot slower or faster, depending on however you want to listen to me talk. So, was industrialism possible without the Empire? Now, the Empire travelled around, um, stole people, stole things, and other places, such as the Middle East, Africa, they, they were thriving, to say the least. Their technological, not I won't use a technical, technological advancement, but the advancement in general, maybe even without technology, was <laughs> not even comparison, like, again, I'm putting my hand in scale, <laughs> let's see just hand scale, and was, that advancement was monumental, the, the, there was no comparison between Britain and England and them when it comes to advancement and also evolution in a sense back then. Now that's a completely different story. But still, with the empire even going out, yeah, this is an actual fact. There were literal industrial spies going around to other countries to just maybe not even steal the final product because you can't just, you know, take a finished pen and if you want to mass produce that pen, you don't know how to make it. So that does not that, that makes no sense. So industrial spies, they go over there and then they see how other people do things and then they go back to their country and they're like, this is how you do this. 
Now give me all the money because I I made it. You, you know? That was the invention of lying. Not this. So. And that's how I was saying. And that was basically the invention of lying. Not this movie. Uh, I never thought I would even mention this movie. And the movie aside. Anyways, um, movie aside, literally, go away, um, that, they go around and they advance their own place via going to other places and stealing rather than be it their people or how they did things. So their improvement and advancement came because of, not just the empire, but because of other people. So the question should really be, was industrialism possible without other countries? What's the word? Um, not unnecessary, not unwilling, forced, literally, physically forced help. No, it was not possible without the help. So I guess that wraps up this video and I guess I'll see you in the next one. This basically answers the question twice since I've done an assessment on this. And in literal actual videos, so I might be showing one or the other, or just both to be honest. And um, yeah, you know, I guess that wraps everything up. I am now your school, you can learn, you know, just recommend something. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling with this, maybe I'll do a video on it, maybe not. I'll probably cut this out, but I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, share if you found this video informative. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Day we hustle, but the night we. Know that they ride or die.